The Infinity Drain Site Sizable Linear Drain System allows for adjustment of the channel length on site, as well as placement of the outlet anywhere along the run of the channel. This video shows the installation of the SAG38 with an offset outlet. Details of the channel assembly for the remaining models are also shown. The components shown here are the contents of the SAG38 complete kit. Determine the location of the drain outlet and cut a hole in the subfloor. Typically, linear drains should span from wall to wall. Create a pre-slope layer for the shower pan. Install drain body into floor and attach to the existing waistline. Apply clear PVC primer and clear PVC cement to the PVC drain and waistline and affix together. Spread a primary mortar bed across the shower area. Slope this layer in all directions towards the drain body at a quarter inch per foot. After the mortar layer is dry, apply adhesive and spread waterproofing membrane as per manufacturer's instructions and local code. Reattach the top clamp down plate to the drain body over the waterproofing membrane using bolts. Install the backerboard layer on all shower walls. Standard installation will result in a strip of material between the finish wall and linear drain. For flush against the wall installation, a double layer of backerboard should be used. For the SAG38 and SDG38, measure the desired wall-to-wall -wall length allowing for wall tile thickness, thin set, 3 16th of an inch for both stop ends, and 2 7 16th of an inch for the outlet section. Then determine the outlet location, cut the PVC channel to the necessary length, then cut the PVC channel at the determined location for the outlet sections. Again accounting for wall tile thickness, thin set, and about 1 16th of an inch for one stop end. Apply clear PVC primer and clear PVC cement to the PVC channel, stop ends, and outlet section and affix together. Dry fit all components to ensure the compatibility with drain location before applying PVC cement. For the SAG65 and SDG65, measure the desired wall-to-wall -wall length allowing for wall tile thickness, thin set, and 3 16th of an inch for both stop ends. Then determine the outlet location. Mark the outlet location on the base of the G65 PVC channel. Using a 2 and a quarter inch hole saw, cut out a hole for the S50 threaded outlet. Again accounting for wall tile thickness, thin set, and about 1 16th of an inch for one stop end. Apply clear PVC primer and clear PVC cement to the PVC stop ends and channels and affix together. Dry fit all components to ensure the compatibility with drain location before applying PVC cement. For the SAG100, measure the desired wall-to-wall -wall length allowing for wall tile thickness, thin set, and 3 16th of an inch for both stop ends. Then determine the outlet location. Mark the outlet location on the base of the G100 PVC channel using a 2 and a quarter inch hole saw. Cut out a hole for the S50 threaded outlet. Again accounting for wall tile thickness, thin set, and about 1 16th of an inch for one stop end. Apply clear PVC primer and clear PVC cement to the PVC stop ends and channels and affix together. Dry fit all components to ensure compatibility with drain location before applying PVC cement. Spread a thin layer of mortar along the dimensions where the assembled channel is to be set. Affix the assembled channel to the top of the S50 threaded nipple using clear PVC primer and clear PVC cement. Ensure the channel is completely level by affixing it to the outlet and pressing into the mortar. Using the desired floor material, mark the thickness of the material along the channel so that the material will finish 1 16th inch above the channel, and account for the thin set below. Measure the inside length and width dimensions of the channel, cut a piece of lumber to these measurements, then insert the lumber into the channel to prevent channel flexing during the remaining installation of mortar and finishing material. Spread a final mortar bed across the shower area, up to the height marked on the channel, this mortar bed should be sloped in one direction toward the linear drain. After the mortar bed is dry, lay thin set and tile to the edge of the PVC channel. Do not allow the tile to finish on top of the PVC channel. We offer a broad selection of decorative choices and installation options that are proudly fabricated in Long Island, New York.